Well, the first thing an inspector will do is when we arrive at the restaurant, everything will be actually uh, evaluated. From the time you make the reservation by on the phone, the way it's been hamster, the way the confirmation has been set. Then it will go to the restaurant itself. It will have a look at the menu outside. It will like a look at the restaurant in itself, the way it's been graded, the way it's been shown to the table. And then from that on, he will totally, he's not going to make any note on the side, he's not going to make any picture, he's just going to be acting like a regular customer. They're looking for um, food, atmosphere, consistency, type of you know, professionalism in, the, in your service, type of cutlery and uh, wine list, sommelier knowledge, etc. If it's a restaurant where he could go by himself, he would be sitting at the counter by himself. If it's a restaurant where actually is very good for business on lunchtime, he would be sitting with another inspectors pretending that two businessmen on lunch. The entire package starts from how the customer is seated, how the staff explains the menu to the customers, um, how the order is taken, how the bread is served. If it's a beautiful romantic dinner, it will go with Arnold's inspector, female inspector, and look like he's falling in love with her because that's part of the job, not to be recognized, just to melt with the actual uh, people. Then he's going to look at everything from the tableware, the service, uh, the ambiance, the decor, which is part of the classification of the restaurant. When you walk in and the feel of the carpet, you know, is, is it thick piled, is it soft? Um, for me, I think that the, the, the fragrance is very important. We, we try and use a lot of fresh flowers in the restaurant. Sense of touch, so when you, you pick up your, the knife and fork or the, the quality of the linen, uh, I think it's also very important. We try and appeal to all five senses.